Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our Divi Theme Builder series here. We've been building custom pages for our carts and checkouts. If we go down to the Theme Builder here, we've created global headers, custom headers, custom bodies, etc. If you want to check any of these out, I'll put the links to the videos below this. Divi just keeps getting better and better with more and more features. If you're making any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So this is one of the great new features, the, the Divi Theme Builder. If you haven't checked it out yet, if you go to your dashboard, hit Divi. It's going to be under there in Theme Builder, and that's where we are at the moment. So if we take a look at the site, the other day we did a custom cart page if we have a look at our cart they are very simple we just added a few elements you can do exactly what you want to do we styled the buttons and things to suit with this weird purple style we got here this menu up here we actually made sticky that's why it's behind that little dashboard bar there but as you can see when we scroll it stays there and when you're not actually logged in it displays absolutely perfectly now if we go to the checkout we're going to find that we've got a sort of generic sort of checkout page the usual thing that WooCommerce pulls in I mean it's fine it's clean it's nice and tidy but let's do what we've done with everything else let's make it our own now if we go to the customizer seeing as we've done the cart page if we wanted to cheat here's our cart page we could apply the styles that we've got on our cart page to the checkout page very easily just go up there to the little cog and just select at the moment we've got it selected as cart we can select checkout as well save that make sure we save the changes here now if I look at the checkout page it should apply the styles that we got on the cart page there we go they sort of got that gradiated background and our and our uh, title meta title up there and the shop down the bottom so there you have it there's how to customize your checkout page video over no I'm just kidding let's do it let's do a custom one for real so it's a little difficult uh, a little different um, like I say that's a very easy way of cheating it if you're happy with the styles you got there so let's just go back in here and uncheck that So it's still just the cart page that's being applied to and let's make our own custom one for our checkout page now we'll save our changes just to make sure it's reverted back to how it was originally now when I refresh it should go back to the sort of generic one there we go that's fine okay so we're back in the theme builder what I'm gonna do is click add new template and of course it's going to ask us where we want to apply it or what we want to apply this template to and of course we want to apply it to the checkout page create template by default it's pulled in the global header and the global footer that we created the other day I'm going to leave it just like that I'm just going to add a custom body build a custom body Once it's loaded, I'm going to start building, build from scratch. Okay, what do we want to put in here? Well, I guess we'll do what we did before. We'll have a, a post title, which will say checkout, etc. So let's do that. I'm going to put a row in. Let's go down here. there's a post title and you may say well I don't want a post title I'm working with my WooCommerce because we've actually applied this to the checkout page it's gonna pull in the title and meta from the checkout page now we don't want a featured image so we can go into here go to elements show title that's fine show meta that's okay don't particularly want to show the author we'll show the date don't really need the categories or comments and we definitely don't need the featured image so basically we're left with a title and a date obviously you do it exactly how you want to do it 
I'm going to go ahead and put that in the middle. So I'm going to go to design and then text. There we are in the middle. And let's just make it our own, shall we? Let's give it a let's give this this row itself a background color. What I'll do is I'll make it full width. So let's go to our row. The blue one's for the section, which is the whole thing. The green one is for the row and the black ones for the actual module so I'm going to go into this row here I'm going to make it full width and give it a colored background hit the little settings on the content tab background I'm going to use our crazy purple color we've been using for the rest of this that's fine but I want it to stretch all the way across so if we go to our design tab I'm simply going to go to sizing slide that up to 100% width and max width I'm going to type in 100% there we go and as you can see it's stretching the, the full width of the screen now that's fine um, the contents not too visible there let's just make that light in color so I'm back in the if I go out of there I'm in the module setting itself the little title module so I hit the little cog the dark one there go to design text I'm simply going to change that to light in color there we are dark let's change that to light there we go fantastic okay we've got a bit of a gap between the top of the section and the uh, top of the row there I don't want any gap there I want this buffered up against the top so if I go into my, my section I'm going to go into the design spacing I'm going to make sure there's no padding on the top so I'll just put zero right there there we go that's popped it up to the top fantastic okay so when they go in here they're going to have the it'll say check out obviously because it's going to pull the meta metadata underneath that perhaps we want to sell them a couple of items or want to remind them of a few items we got on sale so let's just add another little row because I don't want the purple in this row I'm just gonna have a regular row um, I'm gonna put single column inside here I'm just gonna add uh, one of the Divi's fantastic shop modules by default Divi comes with all of these modules they've just added 16 new WooCommerce ones that we'll be using um, so what did I say I was gonna put in oh shop module here we go let's put in a shop module what do I want to display in there? Well, let's put sale products in there. I don't want too many because they want to make see that it is a checkout page. I'll perhaps have, let's just stick to four. Column layouts default, that's fine. Let's give those a little bit of box shadow. So I'm going to go to the design tab, the images. Move down a little bit and just give them a little bit of box shadow that's fine great okay let's leave that as it is so when they come in they're going to have the title they're going to have a few products that we may want them to look at but the main thing that we want is we want them to be able to check out from here and to, to have the checkout info displayed on this page let's do another little row here which could actually put it underneath this I'll go ahead and put it underneath this I'll add a module and to make these all of these woo things work you have to add a post content module so if we go down here's post content and you might look at that and say well I don't want that's my post I don't want that displaying on my uh, checkout page well it won't all it is is that's pulling in generic content from the post because we've applied it to the checkout page it's gonna pull in the content from the checkout page and here will be the forms that you fill out to do your checkout now you can go into there you can customize it a little bit if you want to um, I don't want any background behind there that's fine you can uh, do your text and heading and sizing everything like that at any as you can with any usual module so we'll leave that there for a moment what else do we want to do let's put in a a background gradient just to to mix it up a little bit so for this we want to go into a whole section at the top here because we want this background to apply to everything 
Let's hit the little cog. Let's go to background. You've got a color, gradient, image, video if you choose. I'm going to go for a gradient. <laughs> That's actually quite cool right like that. Let's just, we'll leave the blue. Well, let's change that blue to the purple color we've been using here. And we want to be able to read everything legibly. We want to bear that in mind. And let's change that one to the blue perhaps. And what I'm going to do, I want it to be really pale. So I'm going to take the opacity, this right hand slider, pull it down wherever suits you basically. We've got to do it for this color. Now let's do it for the purple color so we can read all of our text quite easily. I think that works fine. Let's scroll down and see. Yeah, it's sort of going from purple to light blue. Let's save our changes there. Of course, if you want to, you can add more things after here. If you want to advertise anything or make comments, just add another module. Put in exactly what you want to put in there. Galleries, portfolios, images, number counters, whatever you want. Contact form, testimonials. The list is obviously endless. I'm just, I'm going to chuck in another shop module and perhaps put in um, best selling products. I'm going to leave that product count to 12 this time. Really doesn't matter too much. I'm going to go to design. I'll do what I did with the top ones, which was add a bit of box shadow to the images, just give it a bit of depth. Okay, let's save that. So there we have it. And you've got your, your post here, which is when I show you in a moment, it will be where the uh, form is to do your checkout. Title and sales. So let's save this. Any padding, I want to have these fairly close together, these modules. So let's just pop that up like that. And all I did was left click and, and drag with the padding. That may be too much, we'll see. Save our changes, little purple button go to save once saved let's exit out and there's our custom body I'm going to save my changes here now we've got the checkout open here we've applied it to the checkout page let's go there and let's refresh and see what we've got there we go where's we got our uh, global header there which is fine we've got that checkout metadata being pulled in there the title we've got the items that we wanted to have our customers have a look at at the top there we we can put a coupon in if we want to and here's the like I say the billing info that you usually fill out I've got no payment associated with this because it's a demo site so we're getting this and there is the best-selling products we got down the bottom obviously you put in exactly what works for you for your little store but that's pretty cool now then um, if you wanted to I've got my buttons my theme sort of style here because we've been using that purple I've got it purple use your notifications might you know you might be using green as an accent color or something like that and the buttons you can change so that they look how you want them to and to do that it's pretty easy we can go into our theme customizer and again if you're in the dashboard you can go down to Divi the theme customizer I've actually got it open here and this is where it'll take you now then if we go to general settings I've got mine set to purple for the theme accent let's have a look here layout settings down the bottom a theme accent color I've got mine to purple that's why these notifications have come up purple you can change them to whatever color you want let's change them to blue it might not do it in real time here that's fine and my buttons again I've got them really ugly if we go back to the top here here's a button you can style them any way you want again let's change those to blue And the border color to blue as you can see it has changed that but if we publish that now and 
go to our checkout page and refresh, the notifications should change to that blue color, whatever color works for your site, and our button should be, have a blue background there. I didn't change the hover, so that'll be the same. Let's refresh. There we go, and as you can see, it's changed those to blue. And the notifications up here. Um, the button, as you can see, is blue and yellow, lovely. If you wanted to further customize this, once you're on the actual the checkout page itself, you can enable the visual builder. Once it's loaded, go down to the module you want to actually edit, which I think in this case will be this one right here. So we've got section, we've got row, and we've got module. We want the module, so let's click on the little cog. And as you can see, all these, when you hover over it, you've got these little blue circles with a little paintbrush icon. Anything you want to change, just click on whatever it is on the paintbrush item. It'll take you straight to it over here. And you can change colors, whatever you want to do with it. Change that to purple. And like I say, you can go through and do that that way when you're happy with your changes. I'm not going to save that. When you're happy with your changes, just go ahead and hit the little purple button, save, exit the visual builder, and it's job done. Like I said, I didn't save any of that. I'm gonna flip those back to purple quickly in the customizer, because it will affect everything, the other pages that I got accents on as well. And the other thing was in the general settings, I believe. General settings, layout settings, change the theme accent color back to purple. Just so it stays in line with the rest of what we've got going on here. Publish that. So there we have it. If I refresh that now, that should go back to the purple motif and the purple button, purple and yellow. Gosh, that's ugly. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a custom checkout page. We've got a custom cart page. And we've got custom product pages. If I click on one of these products. Okay, we've not got a product <laughs> custom product page for our shirts. I'm sure we did a, a, a custom product page. Perhaps it was one on one of the other things. Maybe it was shoes. I could look in the theme builder and find out quickly. Yeah, there we are. Custom page for, for products as well. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. This new Divi theme builder really does seem great in, for customizing your sites. And like I say, with a couple of clicks, you can select other pages and have them the same as the, the themes you've done here by just simply going to the cog and... A, applying the styles that you've got there to whatever you wish to do. So like I say, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.